Roger Mogul here, Fit Moguls of Macon, Georgia, coming at you with another pep talk weekly. Pep talk to get you guys motivated and give you action steps on what you can do to dramatically increase your metabolism to get more out of your program here at Fit Moguls. Or even if you're not a member here, we want to get this information out to the general public so that you guys can benefit from understanding how to boost that metabolism and get leaner and fitter each week with knowing the secrets that us trainers know that a lot of times uh, people don't even understand that you can even do unless you're working with a really good trainer that has a lot of knowledge in nutrition and metabolic workouts like we specialize here at Fit Mobile with Macon. Your first session is always free. Come on in, you'll love it. We've got a fitness family here, a very intimate setting, meaning we get to know our clients, we care about our clients. Of course, we get you results in the fastest, safest way possible. Of course, you get addicted to this one-of-a-kind interval training program that we have, but we really do care about you guys. That's why I'm putting out these videos each week. And you guys that already know me, know me as Roger Mogul, personal trainer, nutrition expert, fitness expert, been doing this a very long time. But today, I want to introduce you to Professor Fit Mogul. Professor Fit Mogul, you might be asking, who the heck is Professor Fit Mogul? Well, Professor, Professor Fit Mogul is here to take you guys to school today, okay? Last week, we touched on how you can increase your metabolism when you're not in the gym working out because obviously this primes you to get in that fat burning zone when you do interval training like we do here. Nine times the... This program we have here burns nine times the fat of doing normal, steady state, boring cardio where you're plotting along on the treadmill, elliptical, or whatever, and it's not boring. You get a 30 minute workout and you're in and out and you hit everything. Core, cardio, strength, everything, okay? Now, we told you how to get outside and get some uh, other metabolism boosting activity that you can do besides just coming to the gym. Because just coming to the gym, even if you come every single day, but you're pretty sedentary when you're not in here. We've made you aware of that last week that you need to get off that butt, move around a little bit more. It doesn't have to be anything strenuous. Got a lot of good feedback from you guys telling me, yeah, I noticed that I was pretty sedentary. And you started doing those things we talked about last week, okay? If you didn't watch that video, you can find it here on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my channel. Like our page, uh, Fit Moguls of Macon. Um, and you'll be able to get these videos every week for free, even if you don't come to our program, okay? Now, this week, Professor Fit Moguls is going to take you to school, so please pause the video right now, go get your pen and paper, you're gonna to wanna to write this down, okay? What we're gonna talk about today is how to develop a morning ritual that dramatically increases your metabolism, okay? And we're gonna tackle the morning for this video and what you can do nutrition-wise, and then each week we'll step into doing lunch, eat, uh, dinner, and even some snacks, okay? So instead of biting off too much and trying to say, oh, what do I need to eat the whole entire day? We're just gonna focus on breakfast this week, okay? Make this real easily digestible for you, for you to understand, and just focus on one thing a week. We call it taking baby steps. When you do that, it makes it where it's not so overwhelming and you can stick to the program, okay? Here's an awesome morning ritual that you can try. Just give it a good try for a while and see if you don't notice your metabolism increasing, you're getting a little bit leaner, you're feeling a little bit less bloat in your belly. And the first thing you do when you get up in the morning is you're gonna make a apple cider vinegar drink, okay? And you might be going, ooh, that sounds gross. But you're just putting one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar into about six to eight ounces of water, stirring it up. If you have some lemon or some lime, you squirt it in there for taste. Or if you have some essential oils, a drop or two of lemon oil or lime oil for taste. We don't want anything sugary in there, no sugar, no juice, because you don't want the insulin response or the blood sugar response first thing in the morning, okay? So you're gonna uh, drink that first thing in the morning and that's gonna help obviously develop that good gut flora. Good gut bacteria and good flora is the, is the whole idea behind understanding your health and your nutrition, okay? You gotta have good gut health before any of the other stuff is gonna work, okay? So that's gonna help with that. There's also many things about apple cider vinegar that help with weight loss and 
that stomach bloat that you might have. So if you want to research it, you can. I'm not going to get deep into that, but just try that as your morning ritual to get up and drink that. Now, your breakfast, I'm going to give you a shake that you can make each morning that will skyrocket your metabolism, okay? Everything about it is going to be metabolism boosting, okay? I'm going to break down the ingredients and, and let you know why this is going to increase your metabolism and make you feel nice and full for a long period of time. And it's a quick breakfast, and you can take it with you because it's a shake. Um, and here it is, okay? Your fat-burning shake, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to get whatever way you make it in your blender. You're going to put ice. Uh, you want to use 2% organic milk. If you don't like milk or you're dairy sensitive or you have issues with dairy, you can use almond milk, okay? And then you're going to put grass-fed whey protein, okay? Protein in general, any type of protein, is going to be give you a thermogenic effect higher than carbs and fat. Everything that you eat causes a thermogenic effect, meaning it requires a certain amount of calories to digest it, that you actually, you know, you don't net the full amount of calories that you take in. But protein is the highest in the fact that it burns you actually have a 30% thermogenic effect from eating protein. I mean, 30% of the calories that you take in will be burned off in, d during digestion, okay? Because it takes, your body has to work really hard to break down protein, okay? Obviously, protein repairs your hair, your skin, your nails, and helps repair your muscle tissue. And you don't want to lose any precious muscle when you're trying to get toned, lean, and fit with your weight loss goals, okay? That's why you don't want to starve yourself. That's why you don't want to go too long without eating. You don't want to stretch out five or six hours in between eating. And you want to eat protein at every meal, okay? But we're sticking with breakfast right now, this fat-burning shake. Okay, you got your ice, your almond milk, or your 2% uh, organic grass-fed milk. And you put your grass-fed whey protein, hormone-free. You want it to be the least amount of ingredients as possible. Look on the back. Make sure it's just got a few ingredients. You don't see a list of a bunch of chemicals and artificial colorings and flavorings and everything like that in there, okay? And then you're going to put coconut oil. There's a couple of scoops of coconut oil in there. Um, or pour a little bit of coconut oil in there. Coconut oil is made up of 70% 70, 70 of coconut oil is made up of what we call MCTs, medium chain triglycerides, okay? These fats are easily turned into energy for you, okay? They help boost your metabolism, boost your energy level. Obviously, it's helping your brain your function, your skin, hair, and nails, all the health benefits, but it, it, it's actually a fat-burning fat. You've probably never heard that before, but there is such a thing, and coconut oil is one of them, okay? So make sure you uh, add that to your shake, you know, and then you want to add some rolled thick oats, okay? Not your... Not your instant oats you get in the packet that has a little bit of sugar or whatever in there that are real chopped up and processed. That's going to cause an insulin response, and we don't want that, okay? So you want to use rolled, thick oats. The other thing about uncooked oats are they're what you call a resistant starch. A resistant starch is very hard to digest. And the good thing about that is it's not going to have a response, a blood sugar response as, as much as eating things that are cooked starches that are cooked or starches that are more processed or anything sugary. What you're going to do is eat that and it's going to require a lot of calories to break it down. It's going to have a high thermogenic effect, okay, just like the protein. And um, you, it, you're going to uh, have a, it's going to make you feel full and satisfied a lot longer than if you were to cook it, okay? Now, this is optional. If you want to add this to your shake, it's a uh, half of a unripe green banana, okay? And obviously, if you've ever ate an unripe green banana, it doesn't taste all that great, but the reason why, it is another resistant starch, meaning it's not going to be very sugary. It's not going to cause a rise in your blood sugar. Again, it's going to be very hard for you to digest it, so it's going to make your body work, and it's going to make you feel full and satisfied for a longer period of time. So try that fat-burning shake. And if you like these tips that we're giving you, please comment below. Let us know. I love the feedback when you guys give it to me. 
Whatever you want me to cover on any of these videos, comment below. We'll get to that. Your metabolism, by the way, those of you, you hear me say metabolism boosting workouts, metabolism boosting shakes, uh, fat burning shakes. Your metabolism is the amount of calories that you burn just living without doing any activity. So while I'm standing here, I have a metabolic rate that I hopefully have at a high level that's working very efficiently for, for me because I'm eating these kind of foods and I'm getting my high intensity interval training in here and I'm staying very active outside of the gym, okay? Until next time, Professor Mogul has taken you to school. You hear the school bell ring right now, you're out of school, but please take these action steps and give me plenty of